Hi, this is Rick again. And in this section, we're going to be looking at creating a music on hold playlist. Uh, you will also learn how to upload audio files, which can also are going to be useful for when you create uh, interest, interactive voice recordings or IVRs. So let's get started. Again, we need to be in the VC Dial administration menu here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to administration. Okay. And here you have options where it says audio store and music on hold. So the first place we need to go to is the audio store. Okay, and over here we have a section where we can actually upload the files into the server. Now, they do say they strongly recommend PCM or WAVE audio files. Uh, a good format to use since it gives good quality and uh, it also does not take up a lot of space is the GSM format now uh, we use uh, the WavePad sound editor whenever you need to convert so you can grab a song or, or some melody and then convert it into an 8-bit mono just like what we would do here into a GSM format and it'll be great for the system so let's look at how we would do this so over here let me open up my desktop here. Right. In the desktop, we have. Da, 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 and now I lost the folder. This is great. IVR, IVR, IVR. Here we go. Right. So we see that I already created some IVR files here. Well, IVR and uh, music on hold files. And as you can see, they're all GSM formats already. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into VC Dial, and we're going to browse, and we're going to go into the IVR sound files, and we're going to put the Bosa Nova and submit it. And let's see what it says. Okay, now we have a successfully uploaded this file in there. So let's load another one. And we're going to load this one. We're going to submit it. Okay. Submit it. And we're going to go with the Latin Jazz over here and submit it. Okay. So now all three files have been successfully loaded. Let's go look at music on hold. Okay, so we have, as you can see, the default music on hold already, so we're going to create our own list. So we're going to add new music on hold entry, and we're going to call it, we're going to give it an ID, of course, and it'll be test music on hold. And then test music on hold. Alright, so we submit, and this is what we have. So now we have this right here. So now we have to make sure it's active. Make sure it's active. And if you can do it, if you want, you can put it in random order or they can go in the order that we're going to submit them. So let's start with this. Let's go to the audio chooser. And here are my songs. So let's go Latin Fusion and submit it. And then let's go back to audio chooser. Let's select this one. And audio chooser. And let's select that one. So now, uh, Latin Fuse will play first, How Deep Is Your Love will play second, and Bosa Nova will play third. Okay, so now that once we have created the test music on hold, okay, now we can go to our campaigns. And let's go to our outbound campaign. Since the music on hold is, will be designated here for the outbound, not the inbound. So we say park music on hold. This means that whenever the call is put on hold, this is what they'll be listening to. So we put this music on hold and we click submit. Okay, and let's go into our inbound group so we make sure that our inbounds have the same music on hold. And where's this one at? As you can see, it's not in the same place. And I always lose it. So let's see. And here we go, music on hold context right here, music on hold. Let's 
going to be test music and hold. And we submit. And now our outbound campaigns when a customer calls and talks to the agent and they put him on hold, then they will have all this Latin or jazz music to play. And also when a customer calls in an inbound, um, whenever they, they're put on hold, if they're even waiting for an agent to answer, since remember that in an outbound campaign, if they call out, the phone will only stay active for five seconds if nobody answers and then they'll drop the call. Uh, with an inbound, you know you you have to set the seconds. Remember, we talked about that in creating the in creating the in group. So, for 360 seconds, it'll play back and forth. It'll keep going, and this is will be the whole music that they'll listen to. Okay, so now we have created music on hold.